Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're looking now at blend modes in detail and uh, the very first one you often bump into because it's often at the top of the list or just below the normal and, and so on is the darken blend mode. So let's have a look here. Um, just a reminder that blend modes is you take a layer called the base layer at the bottom, a blend layer, that's the name of it, above, add a formula and this is where the darken thing is and you end up with something that you see. Uh, the darken blend mode is in the darken group and guess what? It makes things darker. Um, there we go and we're going to look at some of the others as later on but first of all darken. So let's see something about this. You start off at the bottom layer there You've got another layer here and the question is very simply which is the darkest? And this is pixel by pixel and guess what? You'll see here the darkness because this layer is all the same so it's going to be darker. Well this is done at the pixel layer. So if you've got a layer here then again and a layer here with an X on it so this is all light here but this bit is darker guess what this is what you see so you get the x from here because that's the darkest bit and the rest comes from the bottom because the this gray is darker than this if you're going to write it down as a calculation or in code this is what you'd see you'd say if the blend layer is less than the darker ba the base mode this is for each of red green and blue it's done at the channel level then you're going to get the blend so if the blend is less than base get blend otherwise you get the base which is what we saw just now. So for example now, supposing you've got red, green, blue like this, the base, uh, the layer here, the, it's, uh, the blend layer is like this, so they look like this here. All it does is it looks for in each red, green and blue for the lowest one, because a smaller number means darker. Effectively it's less energy being squirted out onto the screen. And so what you get then is this. You get the red and the green from the base and the blue from the blend layer. And this of course is going to give you another colour. Some key points about the darken blend mode is it's a simple way of darkening. Sometimes you want to make something darker, try multiply. Uh, something that, that is worth noticing is that if you've got two pixels exactly the same colour, when you apply darken, not one is dark nor the other, so you end up with the same colour. With multiply, it's going to change. White is effectively transparent, so in a battle for who is the darker, um, white's always going to lose because it's always the lighter. And the same for all darken modes. And the reverse is true, black always wins, black is always darker than anything else. And uh, a general tip is if when you're using it, you often need to reduce the opacity uh, of, of things. So it's a if, if you think it looks pretty grotty, it's amazing how often reducing opacity works. And it is the opposite of lighten. So let's have a look at some of that stuff. So here we've got two layers. And let's drag this colour out here so we can see what we've got. So if I go to this layer here, you can see that the red is 200, green is 100 and blue is 50. And if we click on this one, it's kind of the reverse. This is 50, 100 and 200. So if we take the top layer here and change the blend mode to darken, when we drag one above the other, we get this effect. So the color is changed because if I drag this here, you can see what you got there is 50, 100 and 50. And that's because when we took this one here, we got the 50 from here because that was the darkest one on this rectangle. The 100 was the same in both rectangles, but this bottom one you got the 50, so you got 50, 100, 50 as your final colour. Let's have a look at this one over here. Put the, this one back. If I got this layer here and I hit Control J to duplicate it, and if I set the top layer to darken, nothing happens. Whereas if I went to any of the other blend modes, it changes colour. Sometimes this is useful, sometimes it's surprising. What you can also do as well is if I take a rectangle 
and I draw this, let's set the fill color, um, just set it to white at the moment I put this on top. So there it's on the top there. Now if I change the blend mode here to darken, look it's disappeared. And that's again because white is always lighter than anything else, or everything else is darker than light. In the reverse one we just keep that and turn this to black. Black always wins, so it sits on top. But what about something in the middle? Well, if you've got a colour here, then each pixel is going to change, but the darker pixels from underneath, those are coming through. And sometimes, as we said, changing the opacity, you're going to get a nicer general effect. So if you want to tint the colour, it's a way of doing it. That's it for now. We're going to do more about darken in the, the practical applications of it in other videos. Thank you very much for watching.